Good afternoon. All right. It's been a few hours since I picked the camera up. Um, if I've even picked it up this morning, I don't even know, guys. Today's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, I have started dinner in the crock pot again. I cannot remind you guys enough. I do what's for dinner videos. It will be on what's for dinner video, okay? Um, it is a crock pot meal because this mama is um, somewhat busy this week. So, I just decided to do that. I'm not going to worry about it. And it's so beautiful outside, guys. It is 70-something degrees right now, and it's only going to get warmer. I don't want to be slaving over a hot stove. So, I popped out the crock pot. Yes, I did. I love my crock pot, y'all. Okay. What I have been doing, and I will show you guys when I get the car rider line. Because I can't do it in drive because I'm just, you know, that's not safe. We don't want to put our life in danger. But, I'm doing a household inventory. It makes my heart happy <laughs> because I don't know about other people and maybe you guys are better than me with this but like I kind of have a general idea of what I have in my house and how much of what I have in the house however there are times where it's like okay well here's the glitch I know I have it where's it at that's what happened to me when I was making my wash for dinner was looking for a specific, I think I said that wrong, but you know the word. I was looking for um, one thing, and I know I have it. Where? Don't know. I looked where I thought it was going to be, where all the other one is, where like everything I keep like that is going to is located. It wasn't there. So then I grab, y'all know I grab my nifty little notebook because I love my notebook. And I started inventorying. I was like, I can't do this. I need, I need to get my mind organized. Okay, now let me car ride her line. Get, up, get comfortable because it's going to be a few hours. Okay, it's like 75 degrees as well. Y'all, I don't sit with my car on. So I have the windows down. It is quite warm. Quite warm. Loving it. Okay, so let's talk about my inventory. So my upstairs freezers, that's what I started inventorying um, to deck, like right before I left. So just so you can kind of get an idea, um, I wrote down every item, okay? Y'all know how I do this. I write down every item. Beside of it, I wrote down the quantity. Now I'm doing it a little different this time. Instead of saying, okay, total I have, 10 packs of chicken. I don't know. Um, I'm doing it per freezer. That way I know where each item will be located. Now, again, what I might do though is shift things around. So maybe put like all pork in one freezer, all beef in one freezer, chicken in one freezer. I don't know because I don't know my true quantities right yet. So, um, just for instance, some of the things that I have actually frozen um, into containers would be like creamers. So in one freezer, I have five containers of creamer and the other I have four, so I have nine total. Could I move all those in one freezer? Absolutely, okay. Um, chili, like hot dog chili, whatever. I have four containers. That is not for my family. That is for Lila's birthday party. So I know that. So that would stay upstairs. Um, and then I have like homemade liver mush and I have store-bought liver mush. One's in one freezer, one's in the other. So that's why I might combine some of the items that are together. Like put all the sausage together, all the liver mush. That way I know. And I have enough of containers that I can organize it. But I don't know if the containers will take up too much space. But um, that's what I've I've actually accomplished today. Like I have four jars of beans that I've cooked and canned in the and put. This was before I was canning. Um, I put them in the freezer. So it, those are those little things that I know I need to use up. So I know I'm gonna pull those out. I'm gonna let them thaw, and. I'm gonna actually pull them out when I get home. I'm gonna let them thaw because Friday I'm gonna make a pot of beans and season them up and things like that. So that gives me an idea of how much I have on hand. 
and it makes room in my freezer. So I have a, a thing of taco meat. Well, guess what? I didn't truly make my meal plan this week. Shame on me. I'm going day by day. Um, I'm gonna pull out the taco meat and we're gonna have tacos tomorrow night. That clears up some space in my upstairs freezers. Um, oh, that breeze, it feels, it feels good. It feels really, really good. Um, yo, I love leather seats for the cleanup, but guys, they are so hot on your legs. So, <laughs> The, the side of my body is getting a good tan right now. Um, but I do self tan and I sunscreen. So just so we're all on the same page there. Um, I actually have like a lot on my face so it doesn't get burnt. I don't even know. Like I did do the makeup today. I don't know that you guys can tell. It was a very light, like no makeup makeup day. I don't know. I just did it because I wanted the sunscreen. Um, but anyway, like this side of my body is going to be super dark because I don't know how long sunscreen lasts, but when I sit in car rider line from, it is roughly 140 until I pick Gunner up at 330, like I'm in the sun. So I try to put sunscreen on, but I don't know how long it lasts. Anyway, not the point of this, um, right now. Okay. So another thing that I have in my freezer, um, that I'm actually going to pull out for Sunday, beanie weenies. So I have three containers of beanie weenies. Um, they're already cooked, so all I have to do is heat them up. Those are those easy meals on those days that I'm just like, you know what? I need to make space. I don't feel like slaving over the stove. Let's just pull them out. So right there, I have four containers out of my freezer. So that is fantastic. Well, and the beans, so that's eight. Um, the, the beans are in pint jars, so there's not like a ton of beans in them. Um, so with that, I have some frozen vegetables in my freezer in the boxes, the steam bo bags. Um, I have broccoli and cheese, and then I have some corn, some cream corn. So I was gonna do some canned veggies tonight, but again, I'm trying to make room. So I'm gonna pull all five, sorry, that was something on my page, all five boxes out. I know, right? That's a stream. No, it's not. Because honestly, there's only like one serving in a box, possibly maybe one and a half. So if I can get those out of my freezer, that's perfect. Um, <clears throat> uh, what else can I tell you? They, this is just the upstairs freezer though. And now looking at this, I can make, I genuinely can make a meal plan for the next whatever on this. So I have a package of 24 hot dogs. Those are for Lala's birthday. So I feel like I need to kind of organize my freezers a little bit so I know, but having it right here is a good thing. Um, I have two containers of lentils, so I'll pull those out for Caleb's lunch um, Sunday morning so they'll thaw by the end of the day and I can divvy those out. They're already cooked, so all I have to do is just divvy it out and he heats it up. So that would um, clear up some more space. Um, and just things that I've that I've had in there and then I have some chicken nuggets. So, okay, Friday lunch, Saturday lunch, and if I can maybe stretch it, I will do Sunday lunch. Get that bag, a half a bag, the large bags you buy, like um, Sam's or Costco. We're Sam's shoppers, we don't have a Costco membership. Um, clear that out, cause that'll free up some space. I have some frozen strawberries. Okay, so listen to this. I don't even know that this is possible, but I have some Go-Gurt's that I want to kind of utilize. So I'm going to do some frozen strawberries with some Go-Gurt's and um, whatever else I can pull out to make maybe smoothies this weekend for the kids. Um, that'll clear out the strawberries. Um, what else? So those are those little things that I just want to get out of my freezer. I'll move them to my fridge and it will make space in my freezer. Now I do always have ice cream on hand. Um, Mike can bust out some ice cream this weekend as well um, with all the hard work that they're doing. I think we can do ice cream really any day, but mainly like Thursday because I don't have school on Friday. Um, Friday. And then um, I'll have Gunnar and Finley Saturday and Sunday. Lila and Trenton will be leaving out um, Saturday morning. So maybe Gunnar and Finley can have some ice cream later that evening. And maybe even at lunch, all four kids can have some ice cream. Um, just so I can kind of clear that out as well. So working from just these two freezers, I feel good about what I can do with that. Um, then what I want to do 
I'm gonna go downstairs. Now, downstairs freezer. The stand-up freezer isn't too big. I really, in my heart, think that my freezer upstairs under my fridge can hold more than that stand-up freezer, but I could be completely wrong. It's just the way that it's shaped. I can get like water packages in there, like family size packages versus um, in my big, fr my freezers upstairs. So that's kind of how I gravitate most of the time. If I don't divide up a package, it goes downstairs. So I'm kind of interested in um, seeing what I have down there as well. And then the major thing is that deep freezer. You guys know as well as I do, you've probably heard people say, oh, uh, it gets lost in the bottom. Oh, absolutely. I would go to a stand-up freezer before a deep freeze any day. Bless you. <laughs> Um, but with that, the deep freezers are cheaper than the stand-up freezers. And I just need to see what I have in there. I know Caleb's going to pull out something to smoke, I believe, Friday. I was going to say Thursday. Friday, because we're having tacos tomorrow. So anyway, that's it. That's how I've started this. This is just upstairs. And then obviously I'll flip around and we'll do downstairs. Um, and then I'll start pantry and household items. Um, now I'm trying not to dip into my overstock, like household first aid items. Um, in my last video right there is like my little tick thing going on here. Um, I, I did buy some ointment to keep upstairs and I won't pull anything out of the camper either because when I inventory my camper this weekend, I have to make sure I have certain things on hand, um, in the first aid portion of our stash in there. Uh, the last thing you want to do is go on vacation and not have what you need if somebody gets hurt or whatever, whatnot. So I never pull out of there. Could I have pulled that out of there? Absolutely, but I'm not gonna do it. So now that I have my one only cream that or ointment I can use, it, it stays in our bathroom and I know where it's at. So with all that, that's what I'm gonna continue to do this afternoon um, until Caleb gets home. We'll eat dinner and then we're gonna go outside and start putting up the fence around the garden. Um, I'm so, like, I'm just enjoying that so much, doing the garden stuff. If it's not too, too bad, um, I might take some plants up there and get them in the ground, especially my romaine lettuce. It needs to go outside so bad. And I don't wanna lose it for it being in the house too long. So hopefully I can get that in the ground. Okay, I we're outside. We're gonna plant raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, grapes, and apple trees. So Caleb's going over to the to the site where we're gonna do it. Millie is outside running, having a good old time. Um, I'm going to get the shovel. That's what I'm walking to, the shovel. So I'll show you the garden here in a minute. Millie loves to make herself known, if you haven't noticed that yet. Um, my kids were gonna come out and help, but they did something not so bright and they all, are um, taking a punishment right now. So it's kind of the life we're living. You wanna act out, you get punished. So anyway, here's the garden update. Um, we watered it and it rained again last night too. So anyway, that's good. We're getting rain. Um, now let's go get this. Oh, you can see me now. Had to move the, um, had to move the mower. Oh. I would say don't tell Caleb I hit that. Not that he would care, but then he watches my videos, so he'll totally see it. Oh, he turned the sprinkler on. There you go. I'm watering it now. He totally turned the sprinkler on me. Okay, let's go plant some trees. We have the berries soaking in the grape soaking. You gotta soak them in a bucket of water, apparently, before you can plant them. Um, I'm hoping in my heart that they take because they did not look good. Um, I don't see how they sell them so early in the store. I don't know. I don't know how this works. This is our first year. So anybody have any advice, let us know. So anyway, we're going to plant the trees. I'll show you. Here's um, before and they're in the, about said wagon. That's a wheelbarrow. And I'll show you what they look like afterwards. All right. We have the trees in the ground Caleb's staking them off and um the boys are getting some more dirt to put around them 
and I'm going to cut the water off. So I have to look where I'm walking. Y'all, there are ants everywhere. Does anybody else have red ants where they live? It's crazy. Okay, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Does anybody else have to tell themselves that when you cut something off? Anyway, we got we got them in the ground. We're just staking them off, We're topping them off with soil, and then um, the grapes and things of that such is gonna they're gonna go right there. And then I got to get some. Um, I'll show you. I'll find them and show you what I'm gonna get up so they can grow on them. Um, we're gonna say hey to Millie. The cute little tire, right? Got my garden boots on. But anyway, you can see the trees. Oh, no, you can't. You can just see the buckets. Okay. That's a good girl. It's going to work. Sorry. So sorry. All right, I'll show you the trees. Okay. All right. So there's one, two. We're still feeling dirt in, so it's going to be a minute. Three. You gotta have two to make one grow, so they gotta have pairs, they gotta have a, a mate. So, I'm gonna walk back here and show you what we're gonna use for the grapevines and things like that. Um, boys are <laughs> oh, y'all are literally in my garden. That is where my tomatoes are going. Are they okay where they're at? Okay, okay, that's that is where the good soil is. Um so my sister, mm -hmm, they have a big garden too. So my sister gave us these and I'm going to somehow, well, that wasn't accurate. These, so I'm going to somehow try to use them for my grapevines and my other portions of the garden. Um, here's ants. Y'all look at this. See that big pile? Look at that. Look at all of them. Can y'all see them? They are everywhere. No, you shouldn't kick an ant pile over, by the way. You shouldn't do that. They, they just scatter on throughout your yard when you do that. Anyway, boys are getting dirt, obviously, to put around the trees. And then we're going to move on to the vines and the berries. And we're going to get it done tonight. Hi. Right, so, we have blueberries or raspberry. This one's raspberry. That's a blueberry. And that's blackberry right here. You can barely see it. These are my grapes right here. They look good. You can barely see them. But we're going to put a trellis up so they'll grow up. They'll vine up. And then they'll, you'll be more noticeable at that point. So, at this point, we're just going to clean our mess up. And we're going inside. We're done. I'm going to clean my hand. That's cow poop right now on my hand. So, I need to go clean my hand off. Um, the kids did get involved after they took their punishment. So now they're just putting mulch around the trees and we're done for the night. Right. Out here, we're gonna go inside now. Found my tripod. Yay, I got my hands free. All right, um, so we got everything planted outside. Um, I have a kitchen to straighten up. I do, I haven't cleaned it up. But I wanted to follow up with my um, freezer um, portion of my video that I was talking about earlier. Um, I don't know if I can get you, can y'all, I hope you can see this. Oh, I did organize it. I don't know that you can see it all in there. I did organize and put things together that were alike. I couldn't, y'all. I was trying, and I was like, I'm just going to do what I can't do with it anymore. So, um, if, if you can see, I, I did organize it. That is a tub of butter. You can freeze butter up to six months, if anybody cares. Yes, I freeze up. So, and just so you are aware, too, I did pull out. Okay. So, um... Was a kid. I did pull out the beans, the uh, beanie weenies, the lentils um, for a meal. Um, hold on. Okay. Um, also, I picked up some chickens again that were on sale. Guys, if you can find these whole chickens, these are from Food Line. This is over six pounds for $4.30. And I don't want to know what just dripped on me. Ew. We're going to wipe my arm off. I'm about to take a shower anyway. Video foul? I don't know. Don't do that. I have to clean my fridge out anyway. So if there's like chicken juice, I gotta clean it and 
and all that anyway. So that's not a big deal. It did land on my, my sock as well, if y'all care to know that. <laughs> but anyway, I did organize um, the upstairs freezers. I did not get to downstairs because we did decide to plant. But I did mark through everything that I pulled out to thaw out for meals and made room and organized that. That makes my heart so happy. Now I know where that portion of it is. Okay, so now I still have pantry to do um, and um, downstairs to do. I have not done that yet. I will get to that tomorrow. Um, my dad actually called, called me earlier and said, um, called tractor supply in the morning because they're supposed to be getting a shipment of um, mason jars in. He actually used to work there part time after he retired. So he told me to give them a call in the morning um, when I get up. Hopefully they will have quart jars. Quart jars are so hard to find. And obviously you guys see the chickens. So I'm gonna get that in the roaster. Y'all know that routine. I might actually film that for you guys so you can see how I do it. It is not even that time consuming. I will verbalize this real quick if you are interested in doing this. I got a roaster. I've had a roaster. I've had it for years, okay? It's just a big roaster. I roast my, I put my chicken on the rack in there, turn the roaster on 350. I season the chicken with whatever you want to season it with, put some water in the bottom, put the lid on it. Okay, so the directions that I found said do it for an hour. Here's the difference I do mine for a little bit longer. Um, I do it for about an hour and 15 minutes. I don't have a good reason. I just feel better doing it. So then I turn it off after an hour and 15 minutes and just let it sit until it completely cools off. In the meantime, sanitize your jars, okay, and your lids. All right. So once that cools off, I pull the chicken out and I put it in a bowl. Well, I put it on my sheet pan and then I pull the chicken off the bone and put it in my big bowl. Then I take my, my jars and I fill them up to about right here, okay? You want an inch and a quarter head space. So I just fill them up to right here. And then on my stove in the meantime, in my Dutch oven, you can do it with water. You can do it with broth and water. You make your own mixture. I did it with broth and water last time. And then I cover it up and leave that head space. Wipe the rims off with vinegar to keep them clean so they seal correctly. And once they, the, the lid and the ring are on, I have my um, pressure canner already with warm water, three inches of warm water, heating up on the stove just with the lid off. I put my jars inside, close the pressure canner, let it build up to pressure um, for 10 minutes, how it's supposed to, which takes a little while. Put my, my weight on it, and then at that point, that's when I start 90 minutes, okay, for quarts um, in my area. Um, so that that is how I do my chicken. If you're interested, I will video it. If you're okay, if you want to see it, let me know. I would totally do some Caden videos if you guys want to see it. Um, but I have not made it downstairs to do my freezer inventory downstairs. Lila's on her way home from church. Trent's finishing up homework, and then he's gonna hop in the shower. Finley went to lay down in bed just because it's eight o'clock. If they want an hour of TV, they have to go to bed at eight because they have to be asleep by nine. Gunner's hanging out with his dad. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's going down tonight. I got to clean my kitchen, but I did find my tripod. So that's a good thing. And then I obviously, I, I did wash my hand from being outside, but I need to take a shower now. You know how like your hands get kind of grimy, gritty feeling. So anyway, I'm going to get my kitchen cleaned up. I'm going to, um, do what I have to do and I'll be back. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. It's getting a little lengthy and I'm just going to go ahead and end it. Um, what I will do though is start a new video. Um, it's going to be a clean with me and my tomorrow. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm doing the math together. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, baby. Uh, and then I will film Canon and just organizing and cleaning my kitchen. I'm just going to put that all on a different video because it's going to be a little lengthier. So I'm going to do that. But I want to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, if you want to see any Canon videos, let me know down below. I will also show you and finish up my inventory of my freezers, my pantry, my household, and things of that nature. So um, make sure to watch um, tomorrow for the remaining portion of this one. I just don't want a super lengthy video. And then remember, Friday is going to be a what's for dinner video. Um, so yeah, make sure you watch that one as well. So for now, everybody have a blessed night, and I will see you guys in my next video.